It's alive! It's alive! So how do we get started as budding scientists? You need this, the 3D Live Maker app. It's available from Google Play or from Huawei's own app store. Uh, but bear in mind again, you only get to use this with the Huawei Mate 20 Pro at the moment. It's not gonna work on any other smartphone. So you open the app and you tap the plus sign there. That opens the front camera app. Now this does not use the rear camera just to make the whole process that little bit more awkward. You use the front camera because it's got the 3D scanning system. The rear camera doesn't have that. So that's why you have to use the front cam. So here we go. This is how you scan in your creature. It's worth pointing out just a few of the details inside the app. These are pre-installed models that Huawei has already added for you using creations, which are obviously ideal for the app. There's the ones that we've scanned in. And if you go up here, there's a rather handy help system that does show you what to do if you get stuck. But before you worry about any of those things, give scanning a try yourself and you just hit the plus button to get started with your own scan. So here's what you should see on the screen. The toy is on top of a blue layer and that blue layer indicates that the app has found what you want to scan in. So it says on the screen, object detected, touch the scan button to start. And the scan button is just here on the screen. Now it's gonna flash occasionally if it loses the target. And also when you get too close, you can see it goes all red. So you wanna make sure that you're back far enough, preferably actually in reality, that the surface is not white as we've got here, then it does detect it better. And once you're ready to go, you tap the scan button and you'll see a line appear. You'll see a line appear on top of the screen and that's your indicator bar. You need to shift the toy around in front of the camera, all the while making sure that it's all still about the same distance away. You can see the bar slowly start to fill up the more you shift the toy around. And also what you'll see is that the toy becomes recognizable on screen and all the blue areas disappear. That means it's being scanned in as you go. So you just keep turning it around until all the blue areas have disappeared and the bar at the top is filled. Once the bar at the top is filled, then the process is complete. Now, it does tend to vibrate at that point, but it doesn't give you any other indication. You have to physically stop the scan yourself. And you do that by pressing there. And it will then say that it's building the model. This takes a few seconds. You can see a progress indicator on the screen. And it then renders it inside the phone. And the whole process takes just a minute or so. That's after the couple of minutes that it takes to scan in your toy. And once it gets to 100%, then you're ready to experiment a little bit further. So here we go, we've actually had a few more tries at scanning and scanned in a slightly less terrifying version of the Baidu Bear. And we'll use him to show you how it works for the augmented reality. So you tap your model you want to use and along the bottom, you got a selection of options and we're going to select the AR mode. Now it says here that you have to adjust the little bear or your model, whatever it may be, so that it's upright and facing forward. So we think that's fairly accurate there. You tap next and all of a sudden you've got your little bear on screen walking around 
in virtual reality, in augmented reality. Now, the problems occur when he walks towards you because his face goes like that, and that's not quite as cute as we wanted. But as long as he's walking away from you, then really he's quite cute. So that's, oh, that's just not good. Terrifying is actually the word. So what we want to do here is we want to use the augmented reality system. So you tap AR and you let the camera scan everything that's in front of you. You have a little progress bar in the middle of the screen. It sees your surroundings and all of a sudden your little bear is in an augmented reality world. And let's take a closer look at what he can do once he's there. So you don't have to use the augmented reality effect on a tabletop or the floor or anything like that. You can just use it in the app and see what it can do. There's a variety of different modes here, all of which make your character animate in different ways. So depending on how successful your scan has been is going to dictate the quality of what goes on in this particular section. The jump is probably the best one, although it does look like he's jumping when inside a sack. And the ballet one, well, it depends on your definition of ballet ability as to Bido Bear's scanned ability as a ballet dancer here. Kung Fu is similarly concerning because the poor bear's entire features all distort in a very worrying manner. However, if you've got, like we said at the start, the right item to scan in, these things can change. It also doesn't really help that Huawei makes your animated toy breathe. And that breathing gives, well, just that little bit of distortion. We get why it's done, but it's not actually that nice an effect. The fun part of it is you can play around with this and those younger ones are not going to be quite so critical as us when they see their favorite toy come alive on screen. So here is our bear sitting on a stool, ready to interact with us. You can move him around on screen and sort of place him where you like. There's also a series of buttons underneath that give him a few actions. You can still use the little joystick just down here to move him around yourself. But you can also make him just wander around on his own, on the surface. You can make him jump if you want to. You'll jump around. You can stop him doing that. You can even have him make little kung fu style moves as he almost falls off and comes back the other way and you can stop him doing that. You can also take video to capture these moments and share them online with the video camera button at the bottom here. Now you can scan him on, on any flat surface. We've used this tool because it's convenient for shooting video, but you can do it on the floor, you can do it on larger tables, you can project him pretty much wherever you like. And because you can move him around, make him larger or smaller, and even get in really close and see what he's up to. There's a whole lot of different creative opportunities. We can imagine this being quite fun. At the moment, it's still early days for the tech. There's no doubt about that. And it's not perfect in terms of the animation because you can see it's not quite sure about the legs because of the shape of Baidu Bear in the first place. And the face itself does get a little bit too distorted for our liking when he's wandering around. But it's still pretty fun stuff for early days of augmented reality on your smartphone. So this is 3D Live Maker on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro with Baidu Bear, who has been made to come alive with augmented reality.